All right, guys, we need to settle this debate first and foremost right now. <laughs> Who should pay in a relationship? Should it be the man? Should it be the woman? Should it be both? What what should we do? My name's Joe Moffitt. I'm Christina Moffitt. AKA Team Moffitt with Master Life by Design. And today we're gonna settle the debate on who should pay yeah. in the relationship. First thing we wanna look at is our beliefs, right? We get our beliefs from our parents, our friends, our family, our environment, the social, you know, beliefs around us play a big role in kind of how we believe. Fairy tales. Yeah, fairy tales, <laughs> right? And so things like that. And so our beliefs, and if you ask most people, we would say, you know, who should pay in the relationship? What did people typically say? Men. Right. And I was reading an article in Forbes and it said 78% of people actually believe that the man should pay, which is for the most part is what we've learned growing up. Most of us learned growing up, right? And now times are changing today, but after working with 17,000 different coaching calls and you know over a thousand different people, I start to see people's beliefs and a lot of them are pretty much the same for the most part. And when we believe that the man should pay, what that kind of tells us on an unconscious level is that we're paying for their time, right? We're paying for her time. Her time's more important. And if the man should pay, then that's that's like saying, well, then you should have sex with me whenever I want, right? And there's a, that's, there's a double standard there. Because most women would be like, no. Right. And so that's the double standard that most people have. Now, if you think about it from an energetic standpoint, masculine energy, feminine energy, feminine energy, they they want to feel safe and protected. And now in today's times, most of us, 99% of people, especially if in your, you're in the US, your you know, basic survival are already taken care of. You have a house, you have food, right? And if you're going on a date, you probably look good, so you already have all that <laughs> met. However, Outside of that, that feminine energy, it needs security. And so having someone that can actually provide economically is a huge component. Mm -hmm. and, but on the flip side, the masculine energy, they want respect, mm -hmm. right? They want to be feel respected. So if the woman comes in expecting, especially in the beginning of the relationship, yeah. that you should be paying for me and that my time's worth more than yours, you're not coming in equal anymore. Mm -hmm. Right, and so the woman, yeah, the man wants to t feel taken care, feel like he's taking care of his girl, mm -hmm. and she wants to be feeling like she's safe, but he also wants to feel respected. Yeah, men, masculine energy also craves freedom, right? So if there's this um, unsaid, spoken agenda of you have to pay, right, or there's this belief you have to pay, where's the freedom in that, right? Yeah, you kind of feel trapped in that yeah. moment, right? And so it's like you want this great relationship, but I got to pay for it. And they start to feel trapped because he wants her, but he does. He wants his freedom, and he doesn't want to feel used. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. We don't want to feel used. So you wouldn't want to treat your partner like you would your best friend. Think about it. When you go out, you and your friends, you don't just say, "Hey, I got the bill" all the time. Right? You expect them to do what? You expect them to, you know, throw in, pay their meal, or pay, you know, half or a good portion of it. Right? And sometimes you guys might treat each other right, mm -hmm. but you want to make sure that when you're going out, the biggest thing is in the relationship is if a man's going to pay, he at least wants you to offer. If you're the woman, mm -hmm. you know, or the other man, I guess, right? Whatever, whatever you women, swim, two matter. women, right? right? In a relationship, with two <clears throat> in people. a relationship. But <laughs> think we're kindly we're speaking about men and women mostly in this right but if a man's going out taking a woman out he wants her to at least offer that makes him feel respected that makes him feel like this is a partnership right and I remember when we first started dating um, you know I I definitely wanted to pay because I believe you know treating a woman in the beginning you know it's like well not even just in the beginning but <laughs> I wanted to court her I wanted to date her I wanted to have chivalry keep that alive right but what I found was I didn't want to always be forking out the bill and you know just a thank you which is nice but she actually offered every time we went out <laughs> and that made us that made me feel like she's equal mm -hmm. because it doesn't mean that your partner though has to pay for everything in you know half mm -hmm. because think about this you know say I when we first started dating I was making more money than her right mm -hmm. and I'm like hey I want to I want to go to Hawaii for a week and I want to stay at this hotel 
Well, if she's not making, you know, even half of what I'm making, we're on different economic levels. In the beginning of that relationship, she's going to feel unworthy and I'm going to I'm going to be like, "Well, you should pay half." That's unfair, right? So if you're on different economical levels, what you want to do is you want to be able to at least throw in proportionately as much as you feel like you can. So, you know, if someone's making 100 grand a year and someone else is making 40 grand a year, they might not be able to pay for a $500 dinner, but they might say, "Hey, I can throw in $50. Can I offer $50 or can I pay for the tip?" Right? We want to feel like it's a partnership here, right? So if you guys are on different economical levels, you want to make sure that you're at least throwing out what you can, right? And I will say, you know, obviously, as we work together and build our business together, it's not like I make more money than she does or she makes more than me, right? Where she's a total kick-ass, you know, warrior when it comes to the finances and <laughs> And, uh, and I just kind of get by, right? Um, but no, so that's a, that's a certain perspective. And then, you know, why don't you talk about the other side of when someone is paying for something and kind of what that means behind the scenes. Yeah, so we can talk about the law of sowing and reaping, or we can talk about having a heart that's just as open to giving as to receiving. Um, you know, let's say, here's an interesting thing to consider. Let's say, couple goes out on a date, right? Masculine, feminine energy, however you want to look at that. And we'll just use a men, woman example. Let's say the woman does offer to pay. And really from her heart, she wants to give. And the man's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because of his beliefs. Because of his beliefs. And he's really, um, what's the word you want to use? Like Aggressive or dominating? Over yeah, but just not having a heart that's open to receiving, right? Because I do, I have clients that they have a hard time letting people pay for them. And so. That's a belief. That's again, a belief, yeah. which, uh, The power of coaching, right? We would work through with someone like, why yeah. don't you allow someone to, to, you know, contribute to you, but yeah. that's a whole nother topic. Yeah. And where he's talking about belief systems, you know, there might be a scenario in which someone does offer to pay, but you still feel like you have to cover the bill. And, you know, we even see this with people who are very successful. There's just like this unconscious belief that because they make a lot of money, they've got to always cover the bill. And that's just not the case. Yeah. And so what I'll say is if someone's going to truly offer from their heart, you can tell with energy like, yeah. oh, can I can I pay? Or like you can kind of see like there's some wavering. Yeah. <laughs> but if you authentically know someone is really wanting to pay for that meal or that experience, whatever it may be, the law of sowing and reaping says that if you don't allow them to pay, you're actually they're trying to sow mm -hmm. something good in their own life. And you, by saying no, are actually preventing them from reaping a harvest later in life or at mm -hmm. some point, right? Because the more you, more seeds you plant, the more that you'll reap. Mm -hmm. And so, so many times I used to sit there when someone's like, oh, I got this bill. And I'd be like, no, 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 let me do it. Let me get it, <laughs> you know, or let me pay for mine. And what I was actually doing was cutting off their blessings. Mm -hmm. And so I had to work on my belief systems. Why do I always have to pay or pay my half, right? Mm -hmm. And usually what I found personally at, at this stage of life that I'm thinking of here, I was really broke-minded, mm -hmm. right? But I wasn't looking at it from the perspective of the other person that I was robbing them of a blessing. And I was robbing myself of a blessing mm -hmm. on receiving, right? So now someone truly <laughs> authentically offers, I'll say, okay, because I hold the belief now I want them to be blessed in the future. And then I'll take that and I'll go and bless someone else in the future, right? And we yeah. do it all the time. For example, we went out to breakfast the other week and a family paid like $30 yeah. towards our meal and we were so blown away, it was really cool. So we turned around and paid for someone else's meal as we were yeah. leaving. And so we just paid it forward, right? And so the law of sowing and reaping continues. So that is a different perspective, but you gotta be able to tell, are they authentic or are they just BSing you? Yeah. Right. So I'm kind of laughing because it reminds me of this episode of Friends where they all go out to dinner and I think it's Ross, Monica, and Chandler make a lot of money and Rachel, Phoebe, and uh, Joey do not. And so the guys that make a lot of money, they order the steak and the lobster. And then the guys that don't make a lot of money, they order salad and water. And then the bill comes and then at the end, they're like, we'll split the bill all six ways. And then they get so pissed off because they're like, no, we just ordered side salads and water. There's no way we're gonna split the bill. So they stood up for themselves, but it just reminds me. 
me of that. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that personally happen in my, to <laughs> <Same>. me, <laughs> right, when I wasn't making a lot of money at the time. So anyway, I want you to see that as we wrap up here, there's there shouldn't be a double standard, right, in the relationship. And so a woman wants to feel secure, wants mm -hmm. to feel safe, especially financially. Even if she makes a lot of money, right, she wants to still feel safe, even if she taps into that masculine mm -hmm. energy, because most women at their core are feminine and most men are masculine at their core mm -hmm. uh you know times are changing now with different people uh different ways of being but what i'll say is don't have this double standard you have to offer and even if you're at different economic levels throw in what you can mm -hmm. and or at least offer what you can because we want to feel respected mm -hmm. right in that and then we know that we want to treat you and take care of you so with that I hope that gets you guys to think a little bit differently uh, than maybe how you were thinking. All right, guys. So with that being said, remember, at least make that offer because we don't want that double standard. Also, remember in the beginning of a relationship, right? Like this is the sweetest. This is the nicest. This is the most caring and gentle you'll be in the relationship. And if you're not going to show up and at least offer, then imagine a year down the line, five years down the line, 10 years down the line, how much resentment can be be built yeah. because there's no respect right so at least make that offer and if men if you want to allow them to contribute then outstanding there's times that in the beginning i let christina contribute a lot because i wanted to see like was she a team and kind of be a good teammate as we move forward in our relationship or was she just about her and being selfish and getting what she wants and I couldn't deal with someone like that in the long term, right? Mm -hmm. And so anyway, think about it where you are in your relationship. If something needs to change, make it. If you're not in a relationship and you're moving forward on dating, mm -hmm. it was just a great way to filter a partner or a potential partner, should I say, moving forward. So if you guys found value in this, give it a thumbs up, right? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to know uh, that you want to tune in to more of these shows. And we do three videos a week. Mm -hmm. And so go ahead and follow us for that. And then comment below. Comment. Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? If you disagree, <laughs> tell us why. We're yeah. open to hearing different perspectives. Yeah. Right? We just want to throw a different thought at you. And a lot, of, uh, a lot of what we do is around the belief systems and where we've learned them and why. And so I believe the man should pay, but I also believe what I shared with you in this video. So with that, you guys have a great one. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Joe Moffitt. I'm Christina Moffitt. AKA Team Moffitt with Master Life by Design. See ya.